Lucifer, I want Chloe to resolve her issues just as much as you do. Why? Because you're feeling guilty. Why would I feel guilty? Because you're the one who performed the little miracle on the detective's mum in the first place. That wasn't my... You what? Go ahead, talk. Years ago, at Father's behest, I came down to Earth to lay a blessing on one Penelope Decker. Huh? Well, my mom and dad were, were trying to have kids, and they said they'd just about given up. And soon after my visit, you were born. No. I meant a deal. You're my dad? <laughs> of course not. So laid a blessing isn't a euphemism? Well, not in this case, at least. No, Chloe, no. Lucy, stop. Listen, Chloe, your parents are still your parents. And I'm so sorry that I didn't tell you any of this earlier. I just... Oh, it's okay. It's okay. So, I'm the only one immune to Lucifer's mojo. So... Do you have any powers or anything cool? I don't know. Laser beam hands, something? No. No, of course not. They were just concerned with creating the perfect Mrs. Morningstar. Why me? I don't know, Chloe. Detective, when I found out about this manipulation, I felt the same way as you. But then I realized that it's far from a curse. It's a gift. I only hope that in time you come to see it that way too. There is a huge difference, Lucifer. You were given a gift. I am that gift. I mean, I'm not even a person. I'm just a thing, created for someone else. And I gotta get back to work. Well, that went well.